Tonight, part of New Orleans is still under a boil order and it's separate from the citywide issue last week. A damaged water line led to the advisory in New Orleans East last night. Officials say testing is now underway. So many of you are wondering what's causing so many boil advisories recently. Today, Eleanor Tabone spoke to an engineer to get some answers. Last week, Entergy New Orleans said a Mylar balloon hit a power line and knocked out power, causing the water pressure to drop too low for too long, forcing us under a two-day boil advisory. Monday night, another boil advisory was issued for part of New Orleans East. It's not just small and mid-sized cities. It can be very large cities. Well, New Orleanians, we may not be alone in this issue. Atlanta's water system provides water for 1.2 million people. Those living within 50 square miles in the heart of Atlanta have had no clean water to drink. This summer, part of Atlanta was under a boil advisory. Jackson has been under a boil water notice for more than a month. And a water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi in recent years left some residents without water to shower or flush the toilet. We really have to become more diligent when it comes to maintaining our infrastructure. Dr. Norma Jean Matei, a civil engineer at University of New Orleans, says a combination of old infrastructure, global warming and new water testing requirements are reasons New Orleans and many other cities see boil advisories. Forever chemicals, PFASs, now must be removed to below a certain safe Level. She says to prevent them, power and water companies need to be in strong standing. Entergy New Orleans said they're currently working with the city council on an accelerated resilience plan that would invest in the grid and harden projects across the city at a reduced cost to customers. The Sewage and Water Board said a drop in water pressure below 20 psi can lead to potential backflow contamination and groundwater infiltration to pipes. Water must be tested to confirm no contamination entered the drinking water system. According to SWB, prior to last week, the East Bank of New Orleans hadn't experienced a citywide precautionary boil water advisory since 2018. But pockets of the city have had advisories since then. We all expect water to come out of the tap when we turn it on. Dr Norma Jean Matei says without a robust power and water system in place and worsening global warming issues, this city and many others could see more boil advisories in the future. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana.